Hello, dear friend. Thomas Manton, the fourth year. Just wanted to uh, tell you something. I'm under a very heavy anointing. And, uh, you know, where I am, how it looks, light, lighting, and all that doesn't matter right now. But I'll just tell you you are nothing without God. This is going to become a movement in our day. This is going to become a revelation to many people in our day. That people are absolutely nothing without God. You're not an apostle. You're not a prophet. You're not an evangelist. You're not a pastor. And this, what I'm saying here to him who sits on the throne, be blessing and glory and honor and power and wisdom and strength and might and majesty and dominion. But you know what? He gave them back to us, but they came from him. And remember Jesus said, without me you could do nothing. I felt this cry in my heart while I was riding somewhere right now, and I just felt this, this urgency and this cry in my spirit to tell you, you are nothing without him. And another thing, you cannot, you cannot fix yourself. You need to marinate, that was number one. Number two, you need to... You cannot fix yourself. You have to get marinated in the presence of God. It may take months to undo. Listen, you got to pay the price. It may take months. It may take a year, like it did Esther, to soak in the oil, six months at one, six months at another, before she was presented to the king again. You, 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 it may take months. Oh God, hallelujah. It, to get all this stuff that the enemy's done to you, to get it off of you and to heal you, and to deliver you. you. You can't do it yourself. It's not okay to be smug and say, well, I'm saved and I'm all right, and I have the positive self, you know, uh, mental attitude and image and picture of, you know, what, yeah, you use those principles to get ahead, and you gotta use your faith, and you have to do that in a positive way and all that, but the power of God is where it's at. I've been speaking about the secrets of God's power. This is another one. You are nothing. You are nothing without Him. Number one. Number two, you cannot fix yourself. Number three, He is your healer and your deliverer. And the way you're going to get it is to spend time in His presence. I tell you, it may, it may take months. It may not be like a snap your fingers and blab it, grab it, and say, you know, by faith in Jesus' name, I believe I receive, and then all of a sudden, here it is, shakabada, humba, bakite, and then it's like, bang, and then you're fixed by tomorrow evening. It may not happen like that. The enemy may have been doing things to you so bad. You, pro you might have been suffering such betrayal, such hurt, such damage, so much witchcraft, so much onslaught of hell. They wanted to destroy you. They wanted to kill you. Now, you, you have all these things that have come and attached themselves to you and try to, you know, afflict you and hinder you. And you got to take time in the presence of the Lord to get rid of that junk, to get rid of that stuff. I'm telling you. Take these principles and take it from a seasoned man who's been around the world. And I've been in the move of God. And I've been out of the move of God. And I've been back in the move of God. And I mean, all of it's the move of God somehow or another. Every day we're doing something. But I've, I've, I tell you, the day is coming now and I'm prophesying. This is number four or five point here. That the, the glory is coming again to my people, says the Lord. The glory is coming again to my people. The supernatural fire of heaven is coming to my people. And I'm going to begin to use. I'm going to begin to use people. I'm going to begin to... <laughs> I'm going to begin to God send my fire to the nations with you and through you that day is coming and the old man in the gospel said he's been with A.A. A. Allen Gordon Lindsay R.W. Schambach and all the other uh, people we've known that came after them. And even he knew William Branham. He's in his late 70s. 
And he said, I see all this stuff today. Prophets that say they're prophets, apostles say they're apostles, people that say they're, and it's not even real, it's not even right. He said, but there's coming a move, he says, I've been feeling it, where like it's coming, the true move of God is coming again, but I tell you, you have to pay the price. To get there, it's not easy, it's going to take time, and you need to get it from God. Remember, without Him, you're nothing. You cannot fix yourself. You gotta spend time in his presence because he has everything you want. He has all the money you want. He has all the healing power you want. He has all the deliverance fire you need. All of it is in him. Come back to him, cry to him. The gospel is not about a, a personality. It's not about a person. It's about Jesus. And it's about the Holy Ghost moving through his vessel. And each vessel will have their own expression, their own comedic routine, their own style of speaking their own giftedness, their own brilliance, their own quirkiness, their own, you know, oratory ability, their own eloquence, their own, you know, expertise and different things and all that. That's great. God gave the gifts and he gave the personality. And the devil wants you to think, well, you, you know, you, 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 you're in this area, in that area, blah, blah, blah. But God made you with a great personality. Nothing wrong with that. God does use that. But the central focus needs to be about him. And we got to come back to him and we got to spend time in his presence and don't be shocked that the first day you seek god again that it it just everything gets fixed in a minute don't be shocked if it takes a few minutes a few days a few weeks a few months even a year i don't know it depends but you got to give yourself to it and no time spent in the presence of god is a waste not a waste it's an investment in the kingdom. And the Lord will bless you. And the Lord will empower you. And the Lord will enrich you with riches and wealth. He'll heal you and give you healing and health. He'll deliver you and give you soundness and peace of life where you feel so free. You don't understand what happened. That comes from God. It doesn't come from man. Know that. And this is the day to apply ourselves totally and fully to the will and the presence of God. Get ready, my friend because the new outpouring is about to hit the earth and God's going to use many vessels, but they have to be saturated in his presence. And all those yokes and all those diseases and all those problems and all those deep-rooted issues that people have, including poverty, shame, guilt, fear, oppression, sickness, disease, uh, curses in the bloodlines and all kinds of garbage. You think that's just going to come because you're a good speaker, motivational speaker, or you have the gift to speak or you get a few some doors open to speak no it's going to come by demonstration and power of the holy ghost and the true real powerful anointing is rare we don't see it much we don't see it we don't see it everywhere we look believe me you mean there's churches everywhere look up and down you see church buildings everywhere if you walk in the building what's going to happen to you there you, you could get bored and want to run for your life but when the presence of God is somewhere, that's a different thing. And I'm speaking again over the state of Florida and over America, over all the nations of the world. But over the state of Florida, God wants to make habitation places where he can move and touch people and network leaders. I saw it from south, north, east to west, the whole state. I'll talk more about that later. I don't have time right now. I'm stepping into another event right now, but the Lord is speaking here. You need to get back to him. Everything you want to need is in his hand. It's in his heart. It's in his mind. It's in his voice for you. In Jesus' name. I'm Thomas Manton IV. Thank you for being my partner. You'll see how to do it. Connect with us. You will be blessed. In Jesus' name. Talk to you on the next broadcast. I love you. Praying for you. Praying for you.